What's up, what's up, and welcome to another episode, Master Mode's Film Session, and today, man, we talking J.P.J., Joey Porter Jr., of course, and uh, his awesome performance, man, Thursday night, especially against DeAndre Hopkins, a big dog in this league, so y'all already know what to do, hit that like button one time for the culture, and do not forget to subscribe. Y'all know what time we on, man. We got to run it up. Let's go. Let's go. That's the little homie up top, though, man. Y'all better stop playing with this kid. Y'all better stop playing with him. Y'all better stop playing with that, man. He scrapped in. Y'all better stop playing with him. He getting comfortable. All right, here we go now. So, beautiful part is this, man. They are chaotic back here. We are confused. We're like, yo, what is going on? And you see he pointing. He's like, yo, what we got going on to you guys? They like, yo, I don't know. 31's like, yo, you you got him. 23's like, bro, I think you the corporate right here, but I don't know if you know you the corporate right here. So as y'all can see, it's a little bit of a confusion on said play. Uh, I'm believing this supposed to be some type of pressure. Uh, I think that uh, I think that's uh, it's either Sullivan or Rush, but uh, I think they were supposed to be in some type of cover one with him walk down. Obviously, you can see it was a little bit of miscommunication on the back end with those guys, right? But for uh, JPJ though, man, what I do like is this: him being pressed up. He understands that look, I'm supposed to have some type of communication, but ultimately we're not getting executed the way that I think it should be. So I'm gonna just go ahead and turn around and get ready to go because the ball's gonna get snapped, and unfortunately. We don't care about what y'all got going on. They going to try to dagger us, right? So with that being the case, though, for JPJ, he gets back into his understanding, right? Slows it down for himself and uses his technique and fundamentals. I love the fact he stays square right here. No crossover early on. And as you can see with his uh, sleeve right here, he's got hands on D hop already causing a reroute. Why is that important? Because it creates a natural, uh, it, it naturally puts him in phase. And it also allows him to stay stacked on the route without having to hold or get in a compromised position where the referee might want to penalize him. So now he's still staying on top of the route, which I love. Watch this right here, though. This is the beautiful part. When he feels like there's about to be contact and this could potentially be the catch point, his head turns around. It's subtle, but it is critical. Otherwise, this official right here on the sideline, circle him up. It's official right here will be throwing that flag if you're contacting the receiver without having your head back around to see the ball so i love the fact that he does that he's flipping his hips to ultimately show the referee that he's trying to make a play on this ball and as you can see he's still maintaining a physical presence with deandre hopkins who has made a living just big boy bullying dbs but from here I, that's also some crazy athleticism. He flipped inside first, then readjusted back outside to get back in phase and then still be able to maintain position, commit no foul right there. And I love the confidence, man. I love the confidence. Cause like I said, it's plenty of young players that come up in this league. And when you face some of these guys you grew up watching or playing the video game with, man, they get shell shocked. All right. But to see JPJ, man, week after week now, coming out here matching energy and talking talking to these cats too man that regular talk you talking talking man i see my man ig post he bullying the bullies i respect it man i must i know your pops so not surprised not surprised but you know we got another play we got to talk about so y'all stick with me real quick all right now this final play right here from jpj is one of my favorite ones thus far this season man because there is no, you know, debate about, oh, is this an inside lazy pass, the whole Lamar Jackson convo? Oh, man, he only had a certain amount of reps against this guy. That was the whole Devontae Adams conversation. Not this week, man. This week, he was really face-to-face -face with DeAndre Hopkins, man, for four quarters. And I was so impressed with what he was doing out there, man. But watch my man right here. High red zone shot play. You know what time it is, man. And anybody that's seen or knows who DeAndre Hopkins is, knows, man. This is his number one on his mixtape, man. He going up here and dunking on you. But not today. Silence them haters, man. Silence them haters. Y'all peep the different celebrations too, right? When they shot at him out in the uh in the middle of the field, it's some strapping you up. I'm locked in. All right. 
when it's you taking a shot at me in the end zone oh no nah, man y'all gotta quiet this down man y'all boys tripping over here i love it just peep the details all right peep the details but once again man you got him press man to man let you know this is his bread and butter this is when jpj is at his best you look at any of his penn state tape this is what he does right here man i love it locked and loaded fundamentally sound ready to go all right now from there watch him see the hands home see my hands home see my hands home boom all right we got the first hand on now we got the second hand we got a little bit of a reroute here okay now we're also in phase but he's also on top still i love that don't pull no pull and once again whenever he feels like this could potentially be the catch point right whether that be d hop's body language or his head turning around you instantly see jpj turn his head around those are critical details if you do not do that in the national football league in 2023 they are throwing the flag every single time so excellent job by him getting his head around because that lets the referee knows that he's playing the ball all right so now from there He's backpedaling with it, but he's still staying on top of the route. It ultimately changes to D Hop having to ultimately pull him. And it should have been a flag. But it is what it is, man. It is what it is. But I love, love, love this dude's toughness, man, right here. Because like I said, D Hop bullies a lot of people in these situations, man. Gets off the line. And once he gets hands on you, he's throwing you by. He's doing something to you, right? But the strength, the fundamentals, and the smarts to understand. I got to get my head around, but I'm stacked on top of him. He can't run by me. We got this right here. And excellent execution. Excellent execution right there. But you guys let me know your thoughts on JPJ, man. Uh, what you've been seeing from him, obviously, in this last game versus DeAndre Hopkins. And what you expect to see from him going forward. But either way, you know, I appreciate you for tuning in. And until next time, baby, peace.